Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you about my favorite app possibly on Android for my daily driver, and that is Nova Launcher. So this is all about Nova Launcher, my favorite app pretty much on Android for the most part, and that's because it makes my Android look a lot better than it normally would. Now, first of all, what is a launcher? A launcher is something that changes the way your phone, first of all, looks. So instead of the phone looking like this, which is what Samsung wants it to look like, as soon as it finishes loading, uh, so what Samsung wants it to look like, it don't switch it to this often again, but uh, you have that ability to see, like, this is what Samsung wants your phone to look like. I don't care for that. So I put Nova Launcher on here. Now, Nova Launcher not only changes the way it looks like, but can even change the way like certain apps look like. As you can see right here, some of these apps look very different from how they normally would. So Facebook looks a bit different, Calculator definitely looks different, and so on and so forth. So uh, like another good example is some of these ones uh, look very different from how they normally would. So. This is one thing I really like about it. And you can change them fairly quickly. Like if I hold down one of these, I can click edit and then I can change the icon that represents it. So I can look around and see which icon I like. And I can download these different themes uh, in order to change which way or icon pack rather. So you can choose that. Uh, but so it, that's one of the things about it. The other thing about it is I'm going to hold, hold down this button to get to Nova settings. So under Nova settings, I can see all these different things. So you can personalize how your desktop looks, meaning how many rows do you want? How many columns do you want? If you notice, I have more rows than Android typically allows, and this is great for me. Uh, how wide do you want? Do you want the margins to be wide or small, normal, which is what I do? Height, I want none. Uh, how do you want your Google bar to look like? Do you want it to be on every screen? For me, these answers are yes. Scrolling effect you want. Which kind of scrolling effect do you want? Do you want it to look like that, like that, revolving door? You know, there's all these different kind of things you can do and go with. I just like this. Plain, plain and simple for me. And so you have all these different things. You can have your indicator on the bottom looks. I don't care for that, so I take it off. Same with your app drawer. So this is your app drawer. Do you want it to be transparent? Do you want, and as you can see, you have a lot of customizations. Even how the bottom of your app, uh, the bottom of your drawer looks, and even your folders. This is one thing I really like. How do you want your folders to look? So you can see you can really personalize this look and feel overall. So this is where you get your theme. I just have a typical S5 theme because that was the one they had at the time. Um, and then I just changed the icons from there. So I did change some to look like stock Android, some to look like Samsung and, and so on and so forth. App animation, you can make it faster. You can make how your phone moves faster. It's just, it's really great overall on all things you can do. Gestures, this is how I switch back to uh, the regular Samsung between non-Samsung. And as you see, when I swipe up, I'll go to Google Now. When I pinch, it'll show previews, all these different things. I can swipe two fingers up to go to my RAM right away and swipe two fingers down to go to TouchWiz right away. So there's lots of different things you can do overall on, all, on the app to make it like you want it to. By far my favorite thing though is this, backup and import. So I have the Note Edge right now. If I go to the Galaxy S6 Edge, I'm going to back up uh, this, and then I will restore it. Meaning that all, all of these folders, all of these apps, how my home screen is, will look exactly like this on my new phone immediately. Which is just such a great feeling. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the Nova does that because it would drive me crazy if I had to reset up my home page like so many do. And I just can't do that. So this is, uh, again, one of the biggest reasons why I love this app is just because the personalization and the detail in which you can change it to. Now, if you are wondering, you can go to the Play Store and find it, and it is called Nova Launcher.
Now, Nova Launcher itself is actually free. However, to do a bit more, you're going to want to get Nova Prime Launcher, or Nova Launcher Prime. And Nova Pr Launcher Prime allows you to do a bit more than you would be able to do. So those gestures I was showing about, being able to have unread so I can see how many, uh, you know, my Gmail and everything like that, I can have a counter on all of those, and just all these different things. Hide apps, I definitely would want that. And so all these different things that you have that you wouldn't other have is only available on Prime. But my suggestion is first to buy the free Nova Launcher and try it out. See if you like it, see if it's for you. Uh, but I definitely, I could not recommend it highly enough. So I definitely recommend you try it out and let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.